There are things I like about Clerks 3, and there are things I don't entirely like as well. But uh, let's do it. It's written and directed, of course, by Kevin Smith. Of course, we've got Brian O'Halloran and Jeff Anderson. Trevor Furman, whose name I didn't mention in the previous movie, that's Elias. Uh, he's in this movie as well. Uh, Jason Mewes, of course, uh, and Rosario Dawson. And what is it about? Well, after having a heart attack, very meta there because Kevin Smith had one in real life, Randall decides to make Clerks the movie. <laughs> and that's the movie that we get. Now, some of the things I didn't like is there's a lot of stuff set in a hospital and hospital stuff makes me, hmm, I can't handle it, don't like it. So nothing against the movie there. I was just like, right, move out of the hospital. I get it, he had a heart attack, move on, move on. And they do. So, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, this movie won me over. <clears throat> but it also ruined Clerks 2 for me. And I'm going to talk about spoilers. So if you don't want to get spoiled for Clerks 3, it's fairly recent, it's been out for a couple months. I'm going to spoil it. And one of the things I want to spoil is, well, B Dante, he doesn't have he doesn't have two chicks after him this time, which is cool, because I thought he'd be happily married with a kid. But no, Saria Dawson, Becky, and the kid he, he, they never had, they got, died in a car accident. And it happened in 2006, so not long after the events of Clerks 2. So I'm just like, oh, really? This guy's got a shit life. You're going to do him dirty like that too? Like, what the fuck? I didn't like that. I was like, oh yeah, I wanted, I wanted to see how they all go in the quick stuff. No, she's dead. Oh. All right, well, I can move on from that. And I was able to. And this minute, Kevin Smith was able to do something in this movie that three fucking Star Wars sequels were not able to do. And that was to make me go, hey, I really love this stuff. This is giving me the member berries and I dig it. This is member berry central. In, in a way that shouldn't always doesn't always get to me but because it's clerks and i love clerks the original it did because randall as he's making the movie clerks brings back all the people from fucking 30 years ago to be to come back so you've got the all the rude customer characters the the guy who talked about uh, shingling in the death star you've got the, you know, all these kinds of characters all coming back. Uh, all, all these actors and all people that Kevin Smith grew up with or knew coming back to kind of reprise their roles and play them again, I guess. So, so all that clerk stuff, I fucking loved it. I, I lapped it up. I, I did. So the making this Clerks 3, the making kind of Clerks 1, loved it. All the callbacks to the original, I'm sorry. I know it's easy writing and it's not really difficult to do. It's very kind of emotionally manipulative and stuff like that, but it worked for me. I was invested and I was into it. And I had a great time watching it. I watched it with uh, one of my best mates, my bro, and obviously my wife, Charity. And, and we all, had, at least uh, my buddy and I, we had tears in our eyes because we've been longtime Clerks fans and things like that. So, there is that one thing that also don't just, uh, that I didn't really agree with, but I'm willing to go along with it because I feel like everything the movie wanted me to feel, I felt. So, whether I liked everything the movie did or not, at the end of the day, I feel like Kevin Smith accomplished what he wanted to accomplish, at least with me, from what I wanted. Am I a bit disappointed about the ending with a certain character? I won't spoil that much, at least. Yeah. Do I really do I really like this movie? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure how much I'll rewatch this as opposed to other ones. Probably because of the sad factor that it is in this. It's a bit emotional. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, I still think there's only one king of the clerks, and it's the first one. But this is better than the second one, at least for me. Your mileage may vary. You might not be as biased and all that kind of stuff with the Kevin Smith stuff as I am. And that's fine. But if you're a fan of Clerks, or even Clerks 2, I guess, I think you'll enjoy this movie. 
Uh, if you, I don't know, don't don't come into it fe- feeling like this is going to be a reinvention or anything like that. Go into it thinking this is going to be a celebration of the 1994 classic and just enjoy the ride, because I did. I, I'll give it a seven. I like this more than the second one, nowhere near as much as the first. Some of the choices I wasn't sure I agreed with or even liked, but as a whole, the movie worked. It set out what it it wanted to set out to do. I felt it. It gave me, gave me the feels. And I kind of want to click four, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> so yeah, click three. Glad I finally got around to watching it. At least I watched it in the year it came out. That's <laughs> something. Oh my goodness. There we go. All done. Yeah.